Did you know that City Beauty, their City Lip Plumping Gloss, not only comes in clear, there also are colors available. Today I have a few, well, I have four colors that I wanted to share with you so that you can see how they look on. And we're gonna talk about putting lipstick over the clear gloss. I did do a video all about the clear gloss. I'll have that listed up above and down below. They all have the same applicator. There's a little bit of scent. Let's see, is there a little bit of scent? I forgot to check that if there's a little bit of scent for all of them. Yeah, a tiny, tiny bit of scent. I couldn't even really tell you what it is because it's so small. Tinseltown is really, really a light pink. So I would say if you want if you like the clear, but you just want a tiny, tiny bit of color, then Tinseltown, this is described, this is under shimmer, and this is described as a sheer cool tone pink with silver glitter. They apply the same way, all of them, no matter what color. I felt a little bit of tingling with all of them, no matter what color. Again, it's not a strong tingling, but I do notice that I do get plumping. Like every other product there is on the market, I feel like it's gonna work for some people. Some people are gonna love it. Some people are not gonna see a difference and think, eh. It's just, I feel like that is the way with pretty much any product. For me personally, I like this lip pumpler the best. And I'm not just saying that because FYI, these are gifted from the brand and I have the affiliate code, however, I wouldn't keep talking about them and share it with you if I didn't really like them. <laughs> so I do like them. I like it because they're not that burn your lips like I can't stand this. I have to wipe this off. It's painful. And they're not, oh, it's just like a lip gloss. I don't feel anything. I feel like it's like in between tingling. The other colors that I don't have, I'll just run through on the screen. Los Angel, Angel Lips is a sheer cool tone pink with gold sheen. Tokyo Kiss, sheer gold, cool tone nude with gold sheen. This is Nude York, and that's sheer warm tone nude with gold glitter. San Diego, I love these names. A bright warm tone pink with golden sheen. Or Plum Springs is the other shimmer one I have. This is considered a deep cool tone bronze with a subtle metallic sheen. Each lip gloss is $35. I do have a discount code for everything on the website, just FYI, if you're interested in trying anything and you wanna save some money, you can get 15% off by using the code STACYD15, S-T-A-C-I-D-15. I'll have all that listed down below. However, tomorrow, starting May 7th, the lip glosses will be buy two, get one free. So yes, perfect time to try them. And just as a, you know, FYI, if you want to see even more shades, there's some new shades coming and I will have those for you tomorrow, May 7th. So make sure you are subscribed and come back tomorrow if you wanna see those new shades and really get your feel for what you wanna try, if you're gonna try them. Now, if you're looking for more of an opaque rather than the shimmer, there is a couple options, or well, there's four options there as well. You have nude, which is an opaque warm tone classic nude. Pink Nude, Cool Tone Pink Nude. And the two colors that I have, Watermelon, a Warm Tone Bright Pink. I think this is great for the summer. And that Barbie Pink, if you're looking for it, I would say that that one is a good option. today is cool tone, this crimson cool tone deep rose. Hey! 
I felt like they wore pretty much the same as far as time-wise. They There is some transfer, like if you drink from a straw when you're wearing them. If you want to wear your own lipstick, but you still want the plumping benefit, I would say put the gloss on first, then wait two to three minutes. Then I what I found the best is to use a lip brush to apply your lipstick first. And then if you need more color, go over it with your lipstick. When I put the gloss on and then just try to go over with lipstick right on, it's just kind of slick and I felt like the lipstick, even with the red, wasn't getting enough color. But then when I used the lip brush to kind of get that base on for the color, something for it to stick on, if that makes sense, then it, I got that color that I wanted, yet I still had the plumping. Now, if you don't wanna do that, if you don't like using a lip brush to apply it, what you can do then is to, to kind of get that, some of that shine off is you can apply the lip gloss, then wait about 10 minutes and kind of pat off the excess. Then that will kind of get a little bit of that shine off of it and make the lipstick a little bit easier to apply and for it something to grip on. But if you only wanted to wait, you know, like I would say wait two to three minutes and then do the lip brush, or if you wanna wait the 10 minutes, that's kind of how I would recommend if you're going to put a lipstick on over this. No matter what color I tried, I did not notice any like bleeding or getting, you know, out of my lip lines. Didn't feel like I needed to use a lip liner with any of these. You can obviously, but I didn't feel like I needed to. It is also hydrating. I don't feel like it's drying out my lips at all. Say that you probably could get a minimum like four hours. I would say that you would have to reapply to get the effect to last eight hours. The color, depending on what color you're using, like the pink one, I felt like that color faded a little bit faster, not necessarily the plumping, but the color itself when I was eating and drinking versus like a dark color like this. I don't think that you can go wrong with, if you wanna try them with any of the colors, and I would recommend if you're gonna do the buy two, get one free. If you haven't already tried the clear, I would get that too, because then you can, you know, wear it with any color you want. I should talk to you about the reviews too, because I do like to do that in my videos. So the reviews of the lip gloss overall on their website got 4.7 stars. There was 1,011 1, reviews. As you can imagine, 4.7, the majority of the people like it. You can't search by the lowest uh, review, so I couldn't really easily find that. You can, the thing that I, though I do like about their website, and this is on all the products, that I haven't noticed about on a lot of, I don't think I've ever seen this on other websites. If you have, let me know which ones. But you can search by age and by skin type for the retur or returns by the reviews. I think that is such a great thing and I think more sites should have that. <laughs> now, if you know you love City Lips or you want to give them as a gift, they may not arrive in time for Mother's Day, but you know what I've done in the past is I've printed out a picture of the product and wrapped that up or put that in a bag and then gave that to my mom to say, hey, it's coming. So if you know you want to give these as a gift or something, just to let you know, you buy six, you will get the two free. So it is as you build it, it's buy to get one free. All right, I think that that answers all the questions. Let me know if there's any other questions that you have about the glosses, the city lips, and I will be happy to answer those. Thank you so much for watching. And again, make sure you come back tomorrow, May 7th, to see the new colors. And that sale starts tomorrow, the buy two, get one free. Two things, what's your favorite color that I wore in this video? What color is your favorite that you'd want to try for yourself? We have Tinseltown, 
Plum Springs, Watermelon, and Crimson. What do you think? And I will hopefully see you back here tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.